There are times when you need a crochet project that lets your mind rest, but it keeps your hands busy. This is the exact state I find myself in at the moment. Maybe it's because it's January. Maybe it's because I just finished the most difficult knitting project of my life, or maybe it's just because. And there are countless reasons why you might need a mindless crochet project right now. You may find yourself overwhelmed with the daily tasks of just being a human being, whether it's at home or at work. Or maybe you just want a fun crochet project that isn't going to take a lot of mental energy. Whatever your reason is, I'm going to be sharing my mindless crochet project that I've been working on, but I'm also going to be sharing nine other of my favorite crochet projects that require minimal brain effort, but they're going to keep your hands busy. When I finished the traditional Norwegian cardigan that I had been working on, for 15 months and countless hours, I knew that I needed a mindless crochet project. I didn't want to use a pattern. I didn't want to count stitches. I didn't want to have to worry about increases and decreases in shaping. I just wanted something very simple and fun to make. I knew I wanted to do something granny square-ish, but I didn't want to make all of these little individual granny squares and have to weave in all of those ends. I wanted something more simple than that. Come on, get on mommy's lap. You can sit in my lap. If you're gonna film with mommy, you need to sit in my lap. He's just like my adult children, they never listen to me. Come sit down. What I love about the granny rectangle is that it's basically like a big, huge granny square, except for it's in the shape of a rectangle. And you'll find tons of tutorials online and patterns for it. They are so incredibly simple and you're just using one color for each round and each round gets a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and you just finish crocheting when you like the size of it. And this is the most mindless soothing, wonderful project that I could ever imagine in the entire world. No, you gotta come sit down. Come here. Come here. No. <laughs> come here. Uh-uh. You're gonna knock it over. These naughty cats. No, 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 no. Don't bite it. <gasps> and back at the very beginning of the year, I created a brand new 2024 crochet and knit planner. It's a free download. If you would like one, I will leave a link for it in the description box below. But I wrote out the yarns that I wanted to stash bust this year. And the number one on my list that I wanted to work with is the Happy Place yarn. And it's from Tony from TL Yarn Crafts. This is one of the most beautiful yarns I have ever worked with before. I love it so much. And I wanted to work down my stash of it because I had quite a lot. And I thought this is going to be the perfect project. It is just bringing me so much joy right now because it is a project that I don't need to think about. The only problem is that it's working up so fast. Either I'm going to need to just start another one as soon as I'm done with this one, or I'm going to make this one absolutely massive. It's going to be huge. And once I started on this project, I knew that there had to be other mindless crochet projects. So I did a little digging around, did a little research. Most of them are blankets. And from the research that I did, it seems like that is something that people People really like to make when you want something completely mindless, something that doesn't require much brain power, but I have included a couple of non-blanket patterns as well. And I'll leave a link for everything in the description box below. While I love a mindless crochet project, there's also something that I do every single day to relax and unwind, and that's learning a new language. I'm learning Spanish with Babbel and I am having so much fun. Yo trabajo de crochet, y tú? ¿Qué haces? I just said, I crochet, and you, what do you do? In January of last year, I decided that I wanted to learn a new language, and Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world. Trabajo de profesora. But Babbel has many different languages to choose from, like French, German, Italian, and Portuguese, just to name a few. And what's so special about Babbel is that it is scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language in just three weeks. It teaches real-world conversations, and lessons will help you to speak about work, relationships, travel, and more. Babbel also has a few different subscription types to choose from, including a lifetime subscription, and there is a 20-day money back guarantee. Click the link in the description box to get 60% off your subscription and make sure to let me know what language you would like to learn and why. Thank you so much to Babbel for sponsoring today's video. One of my favorite projects that I found when looking for mindless crochet projects is the Mopa, Mopa? The Mocha 
ripple afghan from Tony from TL Yarn Crafts. I love every single thing that Tony designs, but this is one of my absolute favorites. This is perfect for beginner crocheters, advanced crocheters, and everybody in between. This pattern uses the ripple stitch, and it also is a fantastic stash buster for any of your number four worsted weight yarns. But she also has a kit from Lion Brand if you wanted to get the exact colors that she has. That is the Skein Tones yarn, and it is gorgeous. I love those neutral tones. This would look perfect in my living room, actually. I may end up making it for myself, but it is a free pattern on her blog. She also, I believe, has a video tutorial for it as well. Yes, there is. I just looked on my little notes. There's a video for it. The next mindless crochet project is the Lark's Foot Crochet Stitch Blanket. This is such a gorgeous design from Han Jan Crochet, and it is easy on the brain. For this project, Hannah is using one of my all-time favorite blanket yarns, and that's the Stylecraft Special DK. It comes in over 90 colors, and it is budget-friendly, and it is so incredibly soft. Hannah used a combination of all of these gorgeous bright colors, but you could make it in neutrals, pastels, or you could use it as a stash buster. I just love this blanket so much. Okay, come here, buddy. Pickle is not cooperating today. You just want to be in all the videos, don't you? And if you really like this blanket pattern, you may want to check out an ebook that she has that contains a collection of nine different blanket patterns. They are so gorgeous. I'm not sure if you can hear Pickle in the background purring, but he's purring quite loudly right now. He's so sweet. But one of my absolute favorite blanket designers is Lucy from Attic 24. She has the unique ability to not only design gorgeous crochet patterns, but she also brings you in to her world of cozy cups of tea and walks in her quaint English village. When I read her blog, it makes me feel like the mundane activities of daily life are magical. You will find an extensive library of tons of different crochet patterns on her website. I made her Harmony blanket a couple of years ago Ago, and it's still one of my favorites. But that pattern is not going on this list because it uses a little too much brain power for this lady right now. And I truly only want to add mindless patterns. And it's one of her brand new ones is the Star Bright Stripe Blanket. Here's what Lucy wrote about it. These easy V stitches have such a therapeutic ease about them and it's impossible not to love the hooky relaxation they deliver. This pattern uses 15 of the most gorgeous colors and they all look so beautiful together. And that's one of the things that I love about Lucy is that she combines colors like no one else I have ever seen. And if you've never poked around the Attic 24 blog, make sure that you do. You're going to come away feeling relaxed and happy and ready to grab a crochet hook. Although I've included a lot of crochet blankets in my mindless crochet project list, I did want to include this one gorgeous project and it's the classical attitude shawl. One of the things that I really love about this project is that it uses the Cotton King Sultan yarn which is a color gradient. And the reason why I think that is so great is that you're not going to have to weave in a bunch of ends for those color changes, which in my opinion, that is a mandatory thing when it comes to a mindless crochet project because nobody, and I mean nobody, when you want something completely mindless, you don't want to have to weave in a bunch of different ends. That automatically excludes it from my list. This yarn comes in 48 different color combinations and I think the Ocean Jasper is my favorite, but these are absolutely stunning. The next project on my list is the Forever Blanket by Sagoni Macaroni. She designed this pattern back in the beginning of 2020. We all remember what was going on in the world back then, and she decided to make this super simple blanket. This is the perfect mindless crochet project because it only uses double crochets. And this is what Sagoni wrote about it. Have you ever wanted to crochet the day away? The Forever Blanket is a free crochet pattern that is absolutely beginner friendly, and you're going to love it for many reasons. This crochet blanket is a simple double crochet blanket pattern best suited for those who are interested in a mindless crochet pattern 
pattern. Sit in front of the TV and relax with this simple blanket pattern and you'll be shocked to see how much you get done. And what's interesting about this blanket pattern is where the name came from. In the blog post, Sigoni goes on to share that when she was growing up, they always had this blanket on the back of their couch. It had been there from the time she was a little girl until she was an adult. And then one day she was visiting her childhood home and her mother said, why don't you take this crochet blanket home with you? I'm not using it anymore and it would be better off at your house. And Sigoni thought, what crochet blanket? And her mother took the blanket out and she was like, oh, that's the blanket we had for forever. And because she had no idea what pattern it was, she decided to recreate it and named it the Forever Blanket. And I just love that story. I love how crochet many times weaves its way into our lives even when we don't even realize it. She went on to share, if you think this project will be boring to work on, I don't want you to waste your time or your yarn. But just remember that this blanket is kind of meant to be boring. It's meant to be worked on when you need a break from life. It's meant to be worked on as a mindless crochet blanket when you need a little bit of relaxation and movie time. And what I think when you are working on such a simple blanket pattern like this is to choose the colors wisely. Choose colors that are completely irresistible to you that you want to grab and you want to work with. And she's used a combination of four different colors and I think it looks great. This cat is still my lap. I'm going to show you. <laughs> He's such a baby. The next project is for those of you who don't want to commit to a big blanket, but you want something quick and simple. This is the easiest crochet baby washcloth by Daisy Cottage Design. This is the perfect project when you need something quick, but you also need it to be mindless. Using a gorgeous cotton yarn would make these a dream to work on. Two of my favorite crochet designers are Tiffany and Hannah, the mother-daughter duo behind Daisy Farm Crafts. I have their book, Handmade Hugs, and it is full of mindless crochet projects. You'll find them in categories like baby blankets, throws, winter wear, and hot pads. One of my favorites is the baby tea blanket. It is simple, but it is so gorgeous. Changing colors at different intervals makes this an interesting blanket to make as well as visually appealing. And what's really nice is that some of the patterns have a QR code that will take you to the video tutorial. I love that. Cheryl of Crochet 365 Knit 2 is one of my favorite crochet designers, but she's also become a dear friend. Her bespoke bliss blanket could not be more gorgeous or mindless. And here's what she wrote about the project. There's nothing I love more than a completely mindless crochet project. You know the kind I mean. That project that you can pick up and work a few stitches, put it down and come back to hours, days, or even months later and not skip a beat. The same kind of project that can crochet you through life. Scary movies with your favorite person, a kid's soccer game, or a long wait at a doctor's office. And what I really like about this project is that while it will be super simple to make, it doesn't look like it. The combination of colors and stitch pattern make this a true showstopper of a project. I love the name of this next project and it is the Fairy Floss Throw by Evelyn and Peter. Maybe it's because it's January and it's cold outside, but these photos are making me so happy. Look at those gorgeous colors. Here's what Rachel from Evelyn and Peter wrote about this project. I love a good blanket project that is mindless, don't you? There's just something about being able to curl up with it, put on whatever current binge-worthy show and crochet without having to think about what I'm doing. Even better, the Fairy Floss Throw uses yarn held double, so not only does it work up quicker, it gives a beautiful but effortless look. This is a great project to use up those yarn scraps, but there's also a full Lion Brand kit in case you want to use the exact yarns that she did. It's also a free pattern and you'll find a video tutorial. Sometimes I think that we can feel guilty if we want to do a mindless crochet project. I know that sometimes I feel that way. I get in my head that I always need to be challenging myself, but 2024 is my year to let myself do things that are just fun and mindless and that I don't have to stress about them. So I hope that you enjoyed all of these different projects and that you found something that makes you want to pick up your crochet hook and make something magical today. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Stay safe and happy stitching.